Hey everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms. I'm Robert, and today I'm going to talk about the indie live stream. So, yeah, at the time of this recording, uh, the live stream was yesterday. I took a little time to think about it, and well, let me go over a couple of things. They went through a lot of kid stuff. Um, the kid's whip looks terrible. We have Indiana Jones Monopoly, woo! And, you know, there there's a... You know, there's some effort on Indiana Jones, but it seems really weak. I mean, I'm just saying it seems really weak. Um, you know, the adventure series, they showed some stuff. Uh, they got a Professor Indy, which surprised me. Uh, they also have a uh, Club Obi-Wan Indy. Uh, we already knew about that one. To my shock and awe, there was Donovan from Last Crusade. I was like, whoa, okay. They said they're going to work on a indie in a short round um, and a couple other things but you know one thing I noticed first off these are all exclusive Target and Walmart which I thought was really weird uh, and then uh, the, the pipeline reveals were really underwhelming I mean it was just like hey we got an indie oh we got an indie from uh, the new movie and we got an indie from Temple of Doom, and we got Indy from Temple of Doom again, and we, and it's like, okay, you're just doing all Indies here, and isn't that what killed the line, or no, Mutt Williams killed the line before, they put him in every freaking case, but, uh, you know, I'm sitting here looking at this going, yeah, this is real half-assed, this isn't even trying, I mean, they're just doing enough to get people's attention. A little bit of attention towards the indie but they're not really i don't really feel like they're putting forth a whole lot of effort it, it, it almost feels like me and yeah they showed the retro wave and it was just like eh, okay yeah the wet retro wave looks okay but you know i, I at least uh, you know as much as i hate retro waves i at least understand why they would do an indiana jones one because that makes sense after all uh you know it would be a heart back to Kenner. Right? That that's a good nostalgia grab. A lot of these retro waves I don't get, like the Marvel ones. I'm like, what? And so I can at least understand its existence. There is an I can see a market for it. While I really do wish though that you know Hasbro would put a little bit more effort in because you know first off, Indy it's freaking Indiana Jones. I think if done right, an Indiana Jones line, an Indiana Jones toy line, could run several years. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're pacing themselves out. But the frequency at which they're putting indie out makes me think, no way. They're just putting out the as many indies as possible, and that's it. I mean, still looking at it, I mean, I will get the six-inch Indiana Jones, but I don't see me grabbing a whole lot else because I don't see it as being very cool. I mean, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of there, and you know, I might grab the Club Obi-Wan Indy, I don't know yet, I'm, I'm still thinking on that one, but that might be my limit, um, maybe Temple of Doom Indy, but, and I mean Temple of Doom, there's supposed to be Temple of Doom at the end of Temple of Doom, I, I past Donovan, I haven't heard anything from Last Crusade except for Professor Indy, so... Yeah, I think, and you know, there doesn't seem to be a logic in the order, which there wasn't a logic in the order of the three and three quarter inch line from years ago, a line that has a lot of flaws, but I do like it. I mean, it's a cool line overall. Um, yeah, there's a lot of flaws, like the first attempts at sculpting Indy, that, that those were rough, but I still liked it. I mean, it was still enjoyable. So, in summation, um, you know, I'm not really sure, I mean, these guys, the guys presenting too, they just didn't seem too enthusiastic about it, it was just like, oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, yeah, yes, we usually work on Star Wars, <laughs> and that, my, that might be telling you something right there, you know, they usually work Star Wars, and let's look at how Star Wars has been the past year. Black Series is, oh, and with the Vintage Collection, ugh, I mean, there's been a few 
cool ones here and there but i mean it's it's not been what people love about loved about the black series so to say um i'm more than a little underwhelmed by the indie live stream would be an understatement hey, you know the kid stuff fine i get it that's cool I'll, i'm i'm behind that but i really thought we'd see a little bit more uh for the adult collector and we didn't and i'm a little disappointed i i you know i didn't want to see you know the three three quarter inch line again because it would have been weird but something a little more robust a little bit a few more figures a few more characters i think is warranted and wanted to be honest i mean i know some people will say less is more but you know again at the rate they're putting out the indies i don't think we're going to see much out of this line so there's really not much to talk about so i'm going to cut it off there because i mean really that's it uh that's all there is that we know so yeah um my final thoughts are i don't think they're going to put a whole lot into this and they're just going to do it for the movie and that'll be it all right uh well that's going to be it for infinite realms don't forget to like and subscribe